So I also understand that when I'm in a sort of bad place and I want someone to love me or understand me, that they've got to go to the same bad place I am to understand me. Those two things don't go together. I want them to love me and understand me, but they can't understand me unless they get on my vibe. And if they're on my vibe, my not good feeling vibe, then they can't love me. No wonder it didn't work. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Is this making any sense to any of you? Now I've kind of got that squared away. Now I realize that as lovely as people are and as much as I love so many of them and as much as I love being in this body and here in this world and on this leading edge, that I want to express love to them, but mostly I want to connect with love because if I don't let myself be loved, if I don't let this vessel that is me open to love, then I can't really love anybody else, not in a way that's meaningful to them. So a lot of us are just running around a little bit broken. We're not letting love in, but we're trying to let love out. So we're not going back to the well of replenishment. We're just loving and serving and trying to be of value and getting depleted and getting exhausted and getting overwhelmed because we're not letting it in. It's like never breathing air in and always breathing it out. You can't get too far with that. Pretty soon you got to start breathing it in or you have nothing to breathe out. And so now, I'm more clear about all of this. So I'm no longer wanting to look to others for that replenishment, although sometimes you can find it. Sometimes somebody's all tuned in, tap 10 turned on, and they got it going and blowing. And when they hold me as their object of attention, I can feel it. And I do like that, but I don't want to depend on somebody else's connection for that because they've got stuff they're doing too. And I don't need anybody else's connection. I've got my own straight line to it. I've got my own vortex. I've got my own valve that I can open wide to it. And often I do. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do it more easily than not. It sort of depends on the momentum that got going. But more and more, I accept these things. I know that source exists. And I know that my inner being is a big part of that collective consciousness of source. And that my inner being is in an undivided way focused upon me. And knowing everything about me and loving me anyway. That my inner being is loving my becoming and is never holding me responsible for what I've come to because I'm eternal, I'm never going to get done. And there's always going to be within me a gap between what life has caused me to reach for and what I've allowed myself to catch up with. And I've been beating up on myself so long about that gap because I reach for more and then I don't go and then I feel bad about the gap but my inner being never does that and oh I'm just figuring this out the very reason that I don't feel love or that I feel unloved is because my inner being is there and I haven't joined my inner being in other words the negative emotion that I feel that I've been calling people not loving me or my inner being not loving me or me not letting love in has only been because I have reached and have not caught up with what I've reached for. And so the very fact that I can feel negative emotion, which feels not love, is my proof that the love, the love exists. exists.